Hey, man, fish. Still the 21st. It's still like 5 o'clock in the morning. And this is just beyond even my comprehension. Now, I just put up this video about the raccoon, the thief. Okay, that's never happened here. Okay, I've been on this. I've been in this place for over five years. Never had a raccoon problem ever. And so I'm seeing the first few comments here, right? Pearl. Pearl, you have no idea what you have brought to the forefront here, okay? Pearl's talking about today being the 21st is 46. It is the sixth day of the fourth month of the Torah calendar, okay? Now, I haven't looked into that stuff, but the 46th, the, four, the sixth day of the fourth month, well... That's my birthday, 4-6, April 6th, right? And I just don't, I, I'm just going to blurt this out to you guys because I feel as though I have to, okay? Now, this image right here, I have not discussed in a long time because it hasn't come back into my, you know, my view. It hasn't been put back in front of me for a while. But this image right here was put up on the Drudge Report last year. On April the 6th 2017 this is totally archived the whole shebang right I even saved this image of it if we look at the properties here I just have to have to have to show you this stuff 4 6 2017 at 1 10 p.m. this image was saved by me off of drudge okay this nuclear mushroom cloud here is just ridiculously crazy okay it's it's absolutely loaded with demonic and just wicked imagery okay you got clouds uh, demons in the clouds you have this wishbone shaped cloud that doesn't belong there then i'm going to try and just show you this stuff you guys and in this cloud there is a king you see the king's face right there? There is a king over them. I believe this is showing the pit opening up in some way, shape, or form. Because the, the evil in this image is just beyond understanding. I did a video about this. And I'm going to find it and link it. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, when I lo uploaded it to YouTube, I think I called it something is about to be unleashed in Los Angeles okay so it would be you know a good idea to look at that but I'm gonna show you most of what I showed in that video right here anyway so this came out on April 6 4 6 just like Pearl said 4 6 which happened to be my birthday of all things right April 6 2017 this came out well from this point back to April uh, 6th of 2017 and I'm gonna show you this stuff okay you're talking about 441 days okay uh, a year two months and 15 days I haven't like really deciphered these uh, numbers here yet um, but if we include the day it's 442 it's just weird how this stuff works you guys okay but 63 weeks 369 the 144 backwards so I found that to be really weird but then I just put it in from this most recent April 6th okay of 2018 and I included the day if I don't include the day it's 76 days the 13th the whole the 1776 that this is the the rebellion okay if i do include the day it's 77 days this is crazy two months 16 days 216 621 11 weeks exactly 21 percent of the year 777 7711 1848 hours all this stuff 1188 i'm just telling you that this is upon me to share this with you. I have to. This did not come into my understanding the way it did for no reason. And 
I'm believing that this might be coming to fruition now. I cannot tell you for sure, but that's my understanding. So, <laughs> that nuclear blast, which you will see in this video here, okay? I can actually play this without sound for a minute. These are some oil rigs off the coast of California. They're literally right here. That's where those oil rigs are. This is Long Beach, one of the busiest commerce ports in the world, okay? Huntington, you got Los Angeles right here, and this is Catalina, Santa Catalina Island. That's important because the wishbone cloud, if you literally go out to Catalina Island, which from this perspective, there are the oil rigs right there, and Catalina Island would be out beyond this area right here. So you're literally, you're looking, your perspective is from Huntington Beach looking out towards Catalina Island and the nuke is right here. There's a spot on Catalina Island and I'm, I'm just telling you, you can look this up. It's like up in this area here and it's literally known as Wishbone. I kid you not. And I show that in this video. Okay. On the 33rd parallel. It's just the most insane stuff you ever saw, okay? Again, if you can find this in my videos, search for Something is About to be Unleashed Los Angeles. I, that's That should be the name. But there's that perspective I was telling you about right there, looking from Huntington Beach out to Catalina Island. And I believe I show it here. And I'm just telling you guys. See, there's the image, the top of Drudge on April 6th. There's the demon cloud. I mean, there's just such insanity, but I can't help it. This has been put in front of me and given understanding to me for a reason. It just can't be denied. There are the oil rigs, and there's the king. Yep, I even put that in it. They had a king over them. Revelation 9-11. I mean, this is just insane, you guys. This is last year, like I said, on my birthday. My 50th birthday of all things. Just absolute. God is so unbelievably awesome the way he works. When you are seeking him, he is just so perfect. I know I wrote all these crazy things in here. I was, I was see, the, see the wishbone cloud there? That is literally on Catalina Island. I, I just, I'm just going to navigate you through. See right there. Santa Catalina Island, Wishbone at the 33 at and 118.3 longitude. You can punch them numbers into Google Earth and go see it for yourself. It's a fork in the road that uh, is named the Wishbone. And that's where the nukes are, where I'm showing you right there. Okay, and this is the perspective that you're seeing it in the image. And what I'm showing here is the... Uh, the making of the Masonic Compass and Squares. And I was using Dodger Stadium because it was built exactly in the, the form and the image of a uh, scarab beetle. I mean, it's like undeniable. And I'm just showing from the baseball diamond. Don't forget the baseball diamond is the most prevalent Masonic symbol that we have there's like one in every neighborhood and that's exactly what it is it's just a huge mocking the american game it's nothing more than a masonic compass and squares that's what a baseball diamond is and i'm showing you right here from that scarab beetle to the oil rigs is exactly 33 miles and this is just crazy guys i remember this video now there's long beach if that, if that port right there ever got damaged, that's, that's it. It's over for our economy. 33 miles, even to the, oh, you didn't see that. Jeez. You guys have to go to Google Earth. I wish I still had it. And look right off of Santa Monica, right? You will see in this, in Google Earth, watch this. At the end of this 33 mile line, there is a dead sheep 
in Google Earth. There's just no way around it. And a serpent. And I actually show it in this video, but I can't help it. I gotta just narrate along with it now to make sure it's showing you. This is a perfect 45 degree angle. This all stuff was shown to me, you guys. I can't explain it, and all glory to God. And I don't know if this is going to happen today, you guys, but I'm just, I would not be able to live with myself if I did not show you this. I just wouldn't. Okay? So, I'm, again, I'm just going through all the, the nuances of the Masonic compass and square and explaining the 45 degrees, the 90 degrees at the base. There, now I'm showing you the sheep again. Right off of Santa Monica Pier, the end of the trail, Route 66. Okay? Now down here, we have to achieve a 90 degree at a 66 degree. This is just how it works, you guys. Okay? It, this, this to me is absolutely amazing. I mean, when I, when I was being shown this, I, I did, I couldn't even deal with it. I mean, it's just so amazing. So now I'm going to show you from the sheep and from the scarab to where those lines would meet if you put it in the proper degree configuration. And the way I determine that is by the line drawing. You know, it gives you your degree of angle. So to achieve the 90 degrees down here, I had to go at a certain angle. I'm, I'm sure it's all in the video. But this is where it brings us, right down here. And you won't believe where this is. You, you won't believe it. And I don't even remember what the length of these lines are. <laughs> it's perfect, perfect Masonic compass and squares by Satan standards I put in there. <laughs> look where Long Beach is. Perfect in there. And look where this point winds up. A baseball field. And not just any baseball field. This baseball field is located in a, in an area of Los Angeles <laughs> known as, and I know I show it here, so I'll let this show it to you. But right there at that crossroads, that's called the West Gate of a town called Bel Air. Prince of the Air. And I believe he's being thrown down. The thief. Just like my brother John said. Just like the thief in my chicken coop on the fourth watch. This is nuts. And it makes a perfect Masonic compass and squares right to the where the nuke is right there with Long Beach right in the crosshairs. This is just what I see and I absolutely have to share it. All glory to God in every way, shape, and form. He is awesome. And you need Jesus, people, because this stuff is coming. It is. I don't know when, but it is. So you need Jesus more than you... Oh, man, I wish I could... I wish I could preach it to you. But I just show you this because this is my lot. This is my portion. And it is sufficient. Just, you can't, get, you can't make this kind of stuff up. I hope you can find this video. It's pretty crazy. These are things that I was being shown. I mean, we're talking as a suckling babe of a Christian. I mean, I still am, but God is so awesome. I'm telling you, folks, when you seek him diligently with a humble, sincere heart, okay, he reveals everything to you, and you live in peace forever. But I had to show you this stuff. I absolutely had to. I can't help it. So, yeah. I mean, Pearl, you have no idea. You have no idea. And this is just what has to be spoken. It's the craziest thing. And it goes right back to this job that I just finished last year. And I knew that this job meant something after the fact, in hindsight. This is a, the last big job I did in Newburyport, Massachusetts. You think there's a little bit of Masonic influence there? I had to restore these gates. <laughs> Straight is the gate, narrow is the way. And look at here. There's a Bible verse on it. Until the day break and the shadows flee away. 1863. Think about this stuff. 963, right? 
till the day break and the shadows flee away. You know what, what Bible verse that is? Oh man, this is just so crazy, you guys. We're talking about the, uh, we're talking about the 4-6, the date, the 4-6. Look, watch this. Solomon, Song of Solomon, 4-6. Until the day break and the shadows flee away. You can't make this stuff up. God has, has just opened my eyes to his awesome, perfect universe. Seek him if you don't know him. Today. Today, people. Please. Today. All right? Probably more to come on this, but I had to, had to, had to show you this. Peace of grace to you all. Keep looking up. Many fish. Finally, my brethren. Be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,